Namaskar, Vanakam, Sashia Kal, and welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. I'm JD. And I'm Anjali, and today we're going to be reacting to top five most power powerful weapons used in Ma Mahabharata, more powerful than the nuclear bomb. Yes. Yeah. So we've done um, a few different things on some of the different gods, Lord Shiva, and some of the different festivals. And uh, Lord Ram and Hanuman, mm -hmm. right? So we've been learning, learning, learning a little bit more. And this was a recommendation to watch this. And um, it would be interesting. We brought Jaden in on this one because mm -hmm. we know it, it sounds like weapons of war. So um, we know Jaden will enjoy it as well. So we mm -hmm. thought we'd bring him here. And let's start this up. Oh, yeah. yeah. The first thing that comes to your mind when you hear the word Mahabharat is war. When we say war here, it does not just mean foot soldiers or kings fighting. We are talking about godlike warriors fighting the most invincible warriors. If the warriors by themselves were considered undefeatable, then how powerful must their weapons be? So at Simli Chama, we present to you the top 5 weapons that were a part of the Kurukshetra war, which are equivalent to today's nuclear or atomic missiles. Wow. Yeah. Number 5. Brahmashirsha Astra It is believed that Brahmashirsha Astra is four times powerful than the Brahmastra. The weapon manifested with the four heads of Lord Brahma as its tip. It is similar to modern day hydrogen bombs or thermonuclear fusion bombs. The knowledge to invoke this weapon was yeah. possessed by Parashuram, Bhishma, Dron, Karn, Arjun and Ashwatthama. At the end of the Kurukshetra war, Ashwatthama devised the Brahmashirsha Astra from a blade of grass and invoked it against the Pandavas. Arjun also invoked the same Astra. Number 4. Narayan Astra Named after Lord Vishnu, this Astra could be obtained from the Lord himself only. This Astra would fire millions of deadly missiles simultaneously. The intensity of the shower increased with resistance. The Narayan Astra could be used only once in a lifetime. If the user were to attempt Whoa, invoking it a second yeah. time, it would rebound on him. Number 3. Brahmand Astra This weapon manifested with all the five heads of Lord Brahma. Lord Brahma lost his fifth head while against Lord Shiva. This weapon could destroy the entire solar system or the Brahmand, meaning 14 realms. It was Parashuram who taught Bhishma Drone and Karna the knowledge to invoke this weapon. However, he cursed Karna that he would forget the mantra required to wield the weapon when it was most required, as he had lied to Parashuram about being a Brahmin. Number 2. Bhargavastra This weapon is equivalent to Brahmashirsha Astra. Hindu scriptures say that it could cause the oceans to boil due to its heat and earth and mountains to float in air and everything yeah. would Whoa. burn without even leaving ashes. When this weapon was used for defensive purposes or as a counter to Brahmastra or Brahmashishastra, it neutralized them. Dronacharya invoked it against the Pandavas. However, on request of the gods, he withdrew the weapon as it could completely annihilate the planet, but not before it completely destroyed one huge part of the Pandava army. Parashuram blessed Karna with the knowledge to invoke this weapon and also presented him a bow for being a conscientious student. Number 1. Pashupatastra Hindu scriptures mention that this astra was the most destructive personal weapon of Lord Shiva, Goddess Kali and Goddess Adi Parashakti. It can be discharged by mind, eyes, word or a bow. It was never to be used against lesser enemies or warriors. It was capable of killing all living beings and reducing everything in its path to mere ashes. When released, the weapon summoned several monsters and a huge spirit which personified the weapon. Each time the weapon was summoned, its head was never the same. This weapon had to be obtained from Lord Shiva directly. Arjun conducted penance and obtained this astra from Lord Shiva but never used it in the war. Pashupatastra is the most destructive, powerful, irresistible weapon of all weapons mentioned in the Hindu mythology. 
Wow, this was amazing. Uh, uh, the, the weapons are so powerful that can destroy the whole entire world. Yeah. Yeah. And also because there's only, like, certain gods that possess them or that, like, can, that can handle them or that can, like, give them to someone else. Like, not all the gods possess one certain weapon. Right. It mm-hmm. seems like... Some of the weapons, more than one god had to work together to make it. Yeah. And then some of them, like, only one god made. And like you said, like, you have to go to that god to get that one weapon. Mm -hmm. But these, yeah, look like they were, like, you know, huge. They could destroy the whole world. Yeah. Or burn everything down. And so it wasn't something they just give to anybody. And, um, Mm -hmm. you know, they, and the gods that possess them, yeah, had. Yeah. You know, like superpower, basically like superpowers, yeah. right, Jaden? Mm-hmm. And um, some of them were interesting because they don't necessarily look like a weapon. Like kind of like the yeah. last one, kind of looked like a trident. Yeah, like it. The bow and arrow I get, and the first couple look like bow and arrows, but like really big, like reminded yeah. me of the bow and arrow in Bahubali, like the really. Oh big yeah, the really big one, one where he shoots it. Yeah, but you know, obviously meant to be more powerful and yeah but then some of them look like um you know like a i don't want to say a wand but that's kind of what it reminded me of something yeah. smaller yeah. but the power really behind powerful. it was mm-hmm. supposed to be so much more powerful and could destroy the whole world and yeah. this was amazing and interesting to learn about Jaden yeah. liked it so mm-hmm. and we all liked it right yeah so I hope you guys like this video. And if you like this video, don't forget to click that like button down below. Because more I like it, more to share our videos. And don't forget to subscribe. Join our wonderful family, right? And, yeah, and we'll see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye. Bye.